Hey, um, this is my Lab 3 video demo for um, my Pac-Man video game using SFML for ECE4122. So uh, just a couple things about this game. Um, I'm going to go through the file hierarchy in a minute. This game was designed using SFML, which is a very uh, simple C++ library to help uh, with simple game design. Also, um, like it pretty much hooks up your computer to all these different components, such as like your graphics library, um, audio, networking. In specific for this project, we were using the graphics library to be able to connect to it and design this Pac-Man game that you could play. So um, about the file hierarchy, there are four main uh, components for this. So there is a main file, and this is where all of our um, game interaction and uh, spawning for these different objects is put in this is where the main game is actually going to run out of and then some of these objects that we've created we've created a map object with um, a header file that defines these functions and then the actual c++ file that goes through and defines what we are doing in there so we also have the same kind of structure for the ghost object and the ghost main file, and then the Pac-Man header file and the Pac-Man C++ file. And then going back to um, this main file, we'll kind of go through just a little bit to understand the structure of it. So we set up some of the SFML stuff, rendering the window, creating these textures for the start screen. Um, we have the start screen creation. We create the winning end screen, the winning lose screen. And then we go through and create all of these um, objects that we define in these other files. So we create the map, we create the players, we create a list of ghosts to be able to go through. We have these initial game conditions. And then this is the loop that actually runs while the game is running. So here we have the conditions for setting those different uh, start screens, end screens, all of those, and the events that will follow each of those. Then we have a uh, keyboard input handling for certain keys. And we also have um, the handling conditions for once you're in the game. So all of these uh, like keyboard left, keyboard right handlers for moving your player around, checking for collisions, um, going through that list of walls that we've defined to check if your player has collided with one of those. Uh, there's even condition handling for those map portals. Um, as well as when you're eating the power pellets. And then we have um, all of our ghost handling conditions, which are going to be very similar, except for the movement for those. Um, we generate a random direction um, integer in order to define which direction we want that ghost to be moving in. Everything else for that should be the exact same. So now that we've gone through the file hierarchy for that, um, I want to be able to take you guys through the actual game and go through and play it. So here we have our start screen for... Um, our original Pac-Man game, there are a little bit of bugs, such as some of the walls are not entirely smooth, which you will see me uh, try and get around once I go and play this. So All right, so we are just going to keep going around and getting all of these pellets. So every time that we're checking for a collision, it's running through um, the list of walls that we've defined and making sure that it's not hitting one of those bounds. So uh, also for the portal, we can see here that it uh, teleports that player to the opposite side, just like it does in the original Pac-Man. This part always gives me issues. As you can see, I'm not the best at this uh, Pac-Man game, but I am going to complete it. That way I can demo all the features for you guys. Just hang on with me for a second.
This feels like a good time for one of those uh three hours later jokes. Right. Let's see if you can finally get this. All right, there we go. So we've won the game. And just to show you what it looks like as well, if we don't win that version, we are going to run it again and just show you like what happens uh, if we hit one of those ghosts. So there we go. We got eaten by the blue ghost. So there we go. We've demoed uh, all the features for that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Sorry that that gameplay took too long. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching.